Among China's eight main cuisines, it's Sichuan fare that's most popular, widely served, and evocative of local culture. Exotic flavors, conjured from ceaseless, spicy experimentations, constitute the very soul of Sichuan cuisine and its universal appeal. This series presents Sichuan cuisine's six most representative and influential dishes. Seemingly ordinary, each one has an intriguing backstory. Baihua County in Chengdu's Longshan Yi district is where the Zhang clan makes yearly obeisance to ancestors and pays tribute to the kitchen god. Today, the clan is gathered in the Zhang family courtyard, built 200 years ago in the Qing dynasty. Somewhat ramshackle, it's nonetheless the clan's sacred gathering place. The ancestral ceremony begins at noon in the house's central hall. Most families serve a small portion of cooked pork at the ancestral ceremony. But clans the size of the Jongs serve three sacrificial meat dishes of pork, chicken, and fish, and five of fruit, selected randomly according to the season. Meanwhile, a team of local chefs specializing in these so-called baba feasts is busy preparing a wide range of dishes ceremony performed, the villagers feast and share these blessings with their ancestors. The sacrificial pork, having been sliced and stir-fried with vegetables and spices, is now transformed into the famous Sichuan twice-cooked pork dish. Sunyan 美美香香的，于是这就是回锅肉的源头。Twice cooked pork may or may not originate in this folk ceremony, and could taste somewhat different now from what it did then. 
but it's still the most frequently served in Sichuan and Chongqing and regarded as a signature dish of Sichuan cuisine.我讲个故事吧在二零二年的时候我们花西都市报举办了一个全川投票选川菜的第一菜结果投票结果百分之九十回国肉在二零零一零年左右到美国世界之位美食节参加表演三个著名的川菜大使然后还有一个不是厨师出身的大师当时那个英国的美食作者来调查他就同样一个问题问他们这四个人你们都是大师级了你们能够制造很多很多的美味受到广泛的点赞但是你们自己平常最喜欢的是什么菜四个人都答一
百分之一左右，所以我们的鸡的脂肪含量是它几倍。Intramuscular fat is manifested in a marble pattern. The more fat the meat contains, the more conspicuous the pattern appears. There is in Sichuan and Chongqing folk culture another yardstick for assessing the quality of pork. It's whether during cooking the meat takes the shape of an oil lamp. For outsiders, this is a somewhat cryptic concept, but actually just a way of describing the look of the pork. If it curls at the edges to form a concave shape, resembling an old-time oil lamp, its taste will be distinct and its texture tender, satisfying gourmet's expectations. When the meat folds into a lamp shape, the chef immediately pulls it to the side of the wok where the heat is low and adds pea xian bean sauce, an essential condiment that distinguishes the dish. Another open secret in the recipe the utility of Pichien bean sauce goes way beyond this. It is nowadays regarded as the very soul of modern Sichuan cuisine. So, we have a lot of Pichien bean sauce. 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 有血红，而且那个酱香味噻，酱香味道噻都是一种发了酵的氨基酸。Everyone moves at their own pace, even when times are changing. As long as we move forward, as long as we seek the high ground, what we strive for is progress and betterment for all. Chen Shoushin, the inventor of this legendary sauce, opened the Yi Feng He bean sauce shop in the south of Pixian County in 1853. The first who had fresh chili during the bean sauce production process, he was honored as founder of the modern day Pixian bean sauce. Chen Shoushin's grandson, Chen Wen Kui, set up another sauce shop named Chao Feng He, expanding the production and popularity of this family recipe till it became every household's indispensable condiment. Pixian bean sauce is now a protected geographical indication product whose production technique is listed as national intangible cultural heritage. Technological advances have altered traditional sauce-making methods, but Chen Shu Cheng, Chen Shou Xin's descendant, still holds true to the belief that their family's bean sauce can only be produced the original way.
最关键的一点，翻山路，咱离不了的。这个一日一转，十二个字：晴天在，雨时盖，白天翻夜晚路。这十二字真言，这是我们祖祖辈传下的，我们一直遵循这个。你看，我们这个晚上一般都不看，都有六有人值班，看天不好了，马上起来看。Bichian bean sauce, made the traditional way, is a product of nature, as the distinctive flavor is organically created by the grains fermentation. Almost every Sichuan cuisine masterpiece has its folk version that is regarded as gastronomically incomparable. Twice-cooked pork is no exception. Forty kilometers north of Chengdu is a town named Lianshan, origin of the famous Lianshan twice-cooked pork. Nineteen eighty-six saw the debut at a local commodity fair of Lian Shan Town Supply and Marketing Cooperative Worker Dai Moore's Lian Shan Twice Cooked Pork. Initially named Big Blade because its shape resembles a blade, the dish's distinctive look, tempting aroma, and exquisite flavor made it an instant success and local folk favorite. The dish's immense popularity prompted Dai Moore to set up his own restaurant, specializing in Lian Shan twice cooked pork. The main ingredient is tender, thin-skinned, and equally proportioned local pork. As to condiments, apart from the standard garlic sprouts, bell pepper, and pea shean bean sauce, there are also crispy fried pancakes, a feature of the Dai family recipe. We are just eating a big bowl, and we are also eating a big bowl, a big bowl. 不是去钓鱼，就拿了一个饼子，拿个这么大的锅盔去，然后还想的是那么小一片一片回锅肉，根本就赶不到口。那会儿，所以说那他就说的，然后把回锅肉给锅盔里面加片回锅肉，拿去钓鱼。Dissatisfied with the paltry meat portion, by supplementing it with the family pancake making technique, Dai Moore created Big Blade twice cooked pork. Dai Moore's daughter, Dai Dong Mei. Is the current chef of his restaurant. She began to learn cooking from her father when she was six years old. My father taught me all the recipes. They were completely unbelievable. The others I couldn't do. The doors were all closed. Now Lijuang white pork, a twice-cooked pork side product, is a Sichuan dish made of sliced pork with garlic sauce. The meat is boiled, cooled, sliced, and mixed with a condiment. Lijuang white pork with garlic sauce is a traditional Lijuang delicacy. During the War of Resistance against Japanese aggression, many scholars converged on Li Zhuang, whose eponymous dish had made it famous. Diners would wind the long, thin pork slices around a chopstick, giving rise to the name 
bandage pork. To attract regulars, the dish added the selling point of cutting skills to its familiar ingredients, cooking technique, and condiments. Meat is normally cut against the grain, but not white pork. This slicing skill lengthens the pork slice to up to 30 centimeters, a visual impact that makes the diner's mouth water well before tasting it. No matter how many forms and techniques stem from the twice-cooked pork template, here in the Sichuan region, it's mother's handmade, twice-cooked pork that wins hands down. Wang Yong, born in the 1990s, is a cadre's assistant in Weifeng Village, Nanchuan District, Chongqing, currently responsible for local poverty alleviation and industry promotion. Pickled vegetables are a local specialty and made in every Weifeng Village household. They are traditionally placed in a jar and then hung to dry on a bamboo pole nine times before being placed in a sealed container for final fermentation. After three months, the pickles are ready to serve. Local people believe that the longer the time taken to preserve, the better the flavor will be. At the weekend, Wong Yang takes pickles to her parents' home in the city. Her mother will use them in her twice-cooked pork dish, a classic variation on this popular theme. Proud to have made her own pickles, happy with her mother's cooking skills, and touched by the love the dish imbues. To Wong Yang, it's the ultimate delicacy. Beijing is where all cuisines converge. Ar Mao, born in Chongqing, has lived here for 20 years. Ar Mao, author of Mother of Firewood Stoves, well-known food writer, former gourmet consultant for major documentaries, and experienced cook and chef of a Sichuan restaurant in Beijing, is generally referred to as a poet chef. He has a substantial fan base. However, he still sorely misses his mother's twice-cooked pork. Because 它就是一定在口腔里面，就是回锅肉和白米饭，它要混在里面，咀嚼和充满口腔的这个这个味道。好，它才使这个回锅肉呢，呃，达到达到它最高的那个口感。The dish is a retro version of Ar Mao's mother's cooking, and an everlasting memory of her. No matter how far a person may be from home, 
His heart is the same, and his childhood memories of food will stay with him. Like the twice-cooked pork, simple and unrefined as it may be, it is emblematic of home.